creating zigzag and wavy lines in Photoshop is pretty easy once you know how. And we're going to use basically the same process for both of them. I've started a brand new document here. It's 1920 by 1080. Yours can be any size that you like. You want to be working on a new layer so that the line that you're about to put in is on a new layer. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. So I'm going to click on the rectangle tool. I have it set to shape. That's just fine. I'm going to drag out a nice long thin shape. Now it can be any color that you like, obviously. Let's go back into the last panel. Let's right click this and choose convert to smart object. While we're here, let's tuck a spare one out of the way because we're going to need that in a minute for the other type of line. Having these as smart objects is a smart idea because it means that you can adjust the filter if it doesn't suit. We'll choose filter and then distort. Now avoid zigzag, it does something completely different. Certainly not the filter that we want to be using here, it's wave that we want to be using. Now with the wave filter, the problem is that the dialogue's really small, so you will need sort of good eyesight to see what's going on here. We're going to make zigzag, so that means they have pointy tops, and for that you need triangle. You'll also want the number of generators to be really low. For this, I'm just going to set mine up a little bit. I've got nine here, that's a pretty good value. In terms of the other settings, you'll really need to just have a look and see what gives you the sort of thing that you want. Obviously the minimums can't be any larger than the maximum, so when I'm dragging across on this wavelength, I'm taking minimum and maximum with me. Let's just drag back again because I think a smaller value is going to suit me better. Amplitude, the same thing. If you drag the minimum, you're going to take the maximum with you. You can see that it's starting to become a little bit pixelated and certainly much bigger than I would want. So I'm just going to wind that back. And scale, these are horizontal and vertical scales, so you can adjust those sizes. Largely, you'll want to be just sort of poking around a bit and just working in the smaller values for all of these settings, keeping an eye on what's happening in the box to see if that's what you want. I'll click OK. And here we have a really good and extremely nice zigzag design. Of course, once you've done that, you can rasterize it. Just right click and choose rasterize layer. Or if you don't like the effect that you've got, if you want to adjust it, just double click on the filter here to reopen the dialog. Don't have to do anything, but just edit the settings that you already have in place. So let's turn that off. Let's go to our other line, which of course is already a smart object. We'll target it. I'm going again to filter and then distort and back to wave. For our wavy line, all we need to do is to turn the type into sign, and that gives us this bendy line. Same thing as before, we're going to adjust the number of generators to something that suits us. Just a word of warning with these generators, if you start to go too high, the tops of your line become really thick and the lines down the side become really thin. So there's a sweet spot pretty early on here in terms of what setting you're going to use for that. Otherwise, you're going to have some distortion, which is fine if you want it, but if that's not what you're looking for, if you're looking for a regular wavy line, then keep your generators down pretty low. So let's have a look at the wavelength. I'm going to keep that pretty small. I want this wavy line. Amplitude and scale. Let's just click OK and see what we've got. Well, we've got a wavy line. Same thing, if you don't like it or want to alter it anyway, you can just double click on the filter and go and make your changes to it. Now, if you want to take this one step further and get a sort of grow grain ribbon effect, let's have a look and see how we do that. I'm going back to my rectangle tool. I'm going to drag out another shape, but this time I'm going to set the fill to nothing and the stroke to a lighter version of the color I've been working with. This is going to be a six point stroke. So I'm just going to make this shape a little bit thinner and then I'm going to do exactly the same as I did previously. Right click on it and choose convert to smart objects. Again, go back and choose filter, distort and then wave. Now I'm using the exact same set of settings for this wave filter as I did down here so that the size is going to be the same. And then I can just drag this down over the top of this shape. And so that's giving me the effect that would be typical of a grow grain ribbon. 
Now, if that's too thick for you, remember that you're working with a smart object. So I'm double clicking on the smart object layer, selecting on a tool that is a shape tool. I'm going to drag down the stroke to about four pixels. Actually, I'm just going to type four pixels in there, much easier. Let's close the smart object layer and of course click yes to save it. And back in the document, you can see I've got a thinner set of wavy lines this time. This is before and this is after adding that sort of extra grow grain ribbon effect. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.